Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this one page site in this latest series. We've got a slider there, a little about section, services section here, a little team section, a little animated project section, testimonial section, a little slider there, portfolio section with pop out, light box effect, we're going to move on to the contact us form today and we're going to do an icon list in this particular video after that we'll do the actual form itself and a full width google map when we've done all our sections we'll hook them all up with a menu at the top okay well let's get started i've got our build open on this side i'm going to enable the visual builder once enabled let's go down to where we want to work Here's where we left off. I'm going to click on this section. I'm going to hit the blue button to add a new section. For this I'm going to use a regular section and I'm going to insert a single row. As with the other sections I'm going to insert a title that we saved to our library in the second video. Watch that if you're not sure how. So I'm going to hit add from library. There's the title that we saved. I'm going to just say use this module. And there it is, it's popped it in there. Obviously I want this to say, contact us. So I'm going to pop my cursor in there. And just change that to contact us. And there it is. For anybody that didn't know how to save and load from the library, we're just using the default font, 50 pixels, default blue with a bit of text shadow there. Great, well we've got our title. Let's move on down and create a new row for our icon list and our actual contact form. For this I'm going to use a row with slightly less on the left than the right there so for our icon list on the left and our form on the right. So we'll pop that one in there. Great, and for this today I'm going to use the blurb module itself. Right here. I'm going to get any, rid of any content, all I want is the title and this is what we're going to use for our address etc. So I'm going to put my address in here. I'm going to roll down. I want an image rather than an icon. Let's move this down and slide this up so you can see a little bit better. It's put it in there. There's the default placeholder image it puts in there. I don't want any image. I want an icon and I want the icon to be on the left hand side. So I'm going to flip the little switch here on image and icon to yes. And I want perhaps a house for that one. That'll do fine. And there it is, it's popped it in there. But I want it a lot smaller than that. I want it on the left. And I want to perhaps use the default blue color that we've been using. I don't want to put any links in, but if you did want to put a link in, you could do it down below here. And we're just using a title, so you can put the title link in there. Or if you wanted the whole module, once we built it to go somewhere, you could put another link in there. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site, open it in a new tab. Great. Well, I don't want any background on this. I just want the writing and the icon. We just need to design them the way we want. So I'm going to go to Design. I'm going to go to Image and Icon. My icon color, I want it to be blue, our default blue. And we've been using blues and purples. If you wanted to add a hover color to it, so it changes color on hover, you can do that by simply rolling over the dark writing. Some icons appear, and this is common to all Divi modules. Go to the thing you want to change. If there's an arrow there, we can set a desktop state, which I'll leave as blue. That's when your mouse is not on it. And we can set a hover state when you put your mouse on it. Let's change that to purple, perhaps. Great. Default time it takes to get from one to the other is 300 milliseconds or just under a third of a second with Divi. If you want to speed that up or slow it down, we can go over to the advanced tab, down to transitions, and you've got transition duration here. Slide it to the right to slow it down, to the left to speed it up, or you can type in a value if you want to. Everything else I'm going to leave on the default there. Okay, well let's go back in there. I want to roll down. I don't want my icon placement on the top. I want it on the left. 
So if I click on that little drop down, there it is on the left right there. Great. And the reason it's still purple there is I've still got my hover state selected up here. If you want to change it to regular that you see on the desktop, just click on the desktop. Great. Well, I don't want any rounded corners or border styles or anything like that. So I'm going to roll on down. I want to go straight to my title here. We can either roll on down to title text or you can hit the little paintbrush icon just next to it right there. Take you straight there. What I'm going to do, I want that lined up in the middle of that icon there. So rather than mess with padding and margin, I'm going to do it with a bit of line height. Line height is the space above and below your writing here. So if I pull this up, you should see that pop down. There we go. As I'm pulling it to the right, it's popping down. And I want it somewhere in the middle like that. Obviously, you can put it on the bottom if you want to by taking it a long way. I kind of want mine in the middle. So 2.2. I think that's about right for me. Great. Well, we've got our address there. I want to put the state and perhaps an email address, a fax, a phone number, and our opening hours. So instead of going through all this again, we can now start cloning this, which makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So let's save our changes here, a little green button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this particular module and just line them up how I want them. And then I'll delete and we'll do it again. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to hit the two little squares to clone it. There it is underneath. Fantastic. Now, that's way too far apart for me if I just click off of here. That's way too far apart. So I'm going to adjust the padding on the top one. You see that little gray area on the bottom. That's a bit of padding on the bottom. Until I get them the right distance away, then we'll delete this one and clone this one again and have it the right distance. So I'm going to go in there hit the little cob. This time I'm going to go to design and down to spacing. I'm going to go into margin. I'm going to put a zero on the bottom. That's actually okay. That's about the distance apart I want them. So let's save that again. And what we can do is delete this second one now. Now we've got the spacing right. And I can clone this one again and it'll have the correct spacing. Great. So I'm going to go into this one. And I want this to be perhaps the state. So we could use perhaps a map pin for that. Say New York and give it a zip code. I have no idea what the zip code is. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. And we'll also go into the image and icon. And let's use it like a map pin or something like that. Great. Fantastic. Then I'm going to rinse and repeat. I'm going to clone it one more time. And let's have my email address. So I'm going to go into the bottom one there, little cog, put in my email. And again, we'll change the icon to perhaps an email icon. Email or mail would bring these up also. That's fine, just like that. What do we want next? Perhaps a telephone number. Again, I'm going to click on the existing one, hit the two squares to clone it. Go into the next one, put in my telephone number. And remember all this info we're putting in the title, not in the body down here. And we'll change this to a phone perhaps. That'll work fine. And we'll clone that one again and perhaps put in a fax number. I'm just going to change the last number of that one, which is quite often how fax numbers work. And uh, again, I don't know if we've got a fax. I'm pretty sure we'll have something similar. So let's put in fax. There's a fax right there. Fantastic. And let's finish off perhaps with our opening hours. So if we go down one more time, we'll clone that one more time. Go into the one we've just created there. And let's say, put in whatever time you want. I'm going to put in 24, 7, 3, 6, 5. Basically open all the time. Let's put a big gap in there. And for the icon, let's perhaps have a clock. Great, well that will work fine. 
Fantastic. Well, there we have it. There's our little icon list. I'm going to stop there for this video. And in the next one, we'll add our contact form and configure it over on this side. So let's save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. We'll exit the visual builder. And we'll go on down to where we were working. And there's our little icon list there. And as we hover over the icons, they're changing color. When we've got all our sections complete, we'll be creating the menu and hooking them up so you can go up and down to them as you need to, and also creating a footer. So there you have it guys, there's how to create a little icon list for your contact us section. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget to put any questions that you may have down below, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.